Hi, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Vicki here. The date is July the 14th, 2018, Saturday. Uh, it is currently 1.25 p.m. Central Standard Time here in Southeast Central Kansas. As of 1.05 Central Standard Time, barrages of missile fire from Gaza Strip into southern Israel, okay? Um, this is going to be a special report. Um, wasn't planning on this today, you know. Um, but we're going to watch this together, amen? Okay. Um, I haven't really been in here yet. Um, I just started seeing a few things and I was like, you know what? We're going to do this together, okay? I love you guys. I lo let's see here. Um, yesterday, Iran said that it would leave Syria only if Assad regime says, uh, ask them to, okay? This was yesterday, the 13th, Friday. Friday the 13th, okay? Evil. Um, Gaza incendiary balloon uh, causes huge fire in southern Israel. There was a uh, Shin Bet uh, joint search for a kidnapped Arab Israeli. I believe that they they found the boy though. Um, we're gonna get back here. Let's see. We're gonna go for Israel. I don't care nothing about the rest of this stuff really, because it's all about Israel. Um, Okay, two cars set ablaze in Palestinian village south of uh, Nablus. That's in the Gaza. That was yesterday. Putin and Abbas to discuss the U.S. Embassy transfer to Jerusalem. Okay. Still yesterday, airstrikes on area held by ISIS in eastern Syria kills 30. Yeah, JV team. Let's see here. You know about the 15-year-old boy that was killed by the IDF. Because he had a grenade. He was trying to take out IDF soldiers. Okay, so a lot of this you already know about. I have to start from yesterday because there was a lot that happened last night, amen? All the rocket fire. Uh, okay, uh, starting today, 7-14, Saturday. Violence flares as Israel strikes Gaza. Hamas fires rockets. Palestinian Palestinian reports that a 15-year-old succumbs to his wounds. The Zikum shore is closed. Hamas says, we've created a terror balance. Okay? Now make no mistake, you know, Hamas and Hezbollah both, along with Syrian forces and ISIS and all of them from the north, the east, the south. You know, the enemies are coming. They are coming. It was written and it will be done. Um, let's see here. Fire breaks out near the Rez crossing. President Rohini says that the U.S. isolated on Iran sanctions that we're isolated. <laughs> well, we might be. Massive fire rampant near Kibbutz or Haner. Massive fire. Uh, Palestinian reports IDF renews strikes in Gaza. Code red sirens in Shahar Hanajib. 
Code Red Sirens in Hoff Ashkelon. Code Red Sirens sounded Saturday in Eshkol Regional Council. Like I said, well, it's 1.30 p.m. right now. The last barrage of red code alerts that I have received personally came out at 1.05 Central Standard Time. Okay. Um, code red siren sounded across the Gaza border communities. The IDF chief holds situation assessment amid Gaza escalation. Code red sounded in Ashkelon. Gaza rocket hits near synagogue in Sederat. Palestinians, 12 wounded in IAF attacks. Hold on here, now I've lost my place, the thing refreshed. Where are we? Got that, got that. Code red sounded in Ashkelon. Gaza rockets here near, okay. Hit near the synagogue in Sederat. Twelve wounded in a Palestinians. Twelve wounded in IAF attacks in western Gaza City. Three Israelis have been hurt after Gaza rocket hit in the Sederat. Israel tra uh, taking strong action against Gaza aggression. Oh, and then here we go. Macron from France to discuss Syria, Iran, and Ukraine with Putin on Sunday. Okay. Mr. Emmanuel, God with us, he said he was going to rule like a Roman God. Yeah, he's going to get it. I cannot hardly wait to get out of here, amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus, come. Iron Dome intercepts at least three Gaza rockets. Netanyahu, if Hamas doesn't get the message today, it'll get it tomorrow. Okay. Iran guards say kill three militants near the Iraqi border. Let's do a refresh, see if something else has come up. So there you have it, saints. You know, I want to thank you to my brothers and sisters who keeping me in their prayers, you know. I'm the only one awake in this camp over here, okay? <laughs> I could talk till the cows come home, but ain't nobody going to wake up. I just don't see it, you know. It's bittersweet for me over here, you know. Um, I love you all. Jesus is coming. Yes, he is. Make no mistake about that whatsoever. You know, and this is somehow a purification process, I believe, for the bride of Christ. You know, it's through the humility, you know, knowing what is coming, praying for his people, praying that their spiritual eyes would be open, praying that he would have mercy, you know, because we love them. They gave us Jesus. How could we not love them? You know? And the whole world. Oh, just wait. We'll be hearing all kinds of evil wickedness coming out of the UN. There's going to be emergency meetings. How dare Israel? <laughs> you know, peaceful protest. We've heard it all before. I'm just so sick of this evil, vile, disgusting world. And I know y'all are too. You know, I love you all. You're in my prayers. We're going to get through this together until the Lord calls us up out of here. God bless you all. I'll keep you updated. Maranatha.